Viva Barosland! Viva! Viva Barosland! Viva! Barosland Nationalist Youth Alliance, 21st January 2024. Press statement. Warm greetings to the beautiful, civilized and peaceful people of Barosland Kingdom and all the civilized nations. We, the offsprings of those who possessed Barosland Kingdom, are gathered here today to respond to Mr. Hakainde Hichilema's statement he made on 18th January 2024. In his statement, he said that, one, there is no country called Western Province or Barosland. Two, he further said that Zambia is a unitary state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First and for almost, we want to advise Mr. Sami Hichilema to humble himself. He is not God. He speaks like some people who used to say that Hakainde will never be a president of Zambia. But today he is. May God forgive Sami Hichlema because he doesn't know what he is doing. Barosland is our inheritance and not Zambia. Mr. Hakainde Hichlema should just concentrate on reducing the price of milimu to 50 kwacha, which he used to champion during his campaign promises. What Mr. Hakainde Chilema should know is that Barosland existed as an independent territory before 1964. To say that Barosland Kingdom does not exist is cheap politics. Is Mr. Hakainde telling us that His Royal Highness Chitimukuru Kanyantamanga II of the Bemba speaking people was dreaming when he addressed the Litunga of Barosland as King of Barosland and not Western Province? The statement by Mr. Hakainde Ichilema clearly shows that he is on a serious move of colonizing and destroying Barosland Kingdom. That is why he has sent his troops to Barosland Kingdom. Dear Barosland Nationals, colonialism is a policy of controlling others. The technology has nothing to do with whites or Europeans. Barosland is experiencing black-to-black -black colonialism, which is more pernicious we have rejected it. Same, same, I repeat, same, same. we have rejected like colonialism. Barosland and Northern Rhodesia were not one territory. The definition of Northern Rhodesia was provided by the Buxton Commission Report of 1922. The contemporary history of our territory starts in 1864 before Zambia was born. The following can bear witness to the existence of our country, territory, and the state. One, King Leopard of Belgium. Two, Queen Victoria I of Great Britain. Three, King Charles of Great Britain. Four, King Manuel I of Portugal. Five, King Emmanuel III of Italy. Barosland Kingdom was a British protectorate with well-defined boundaries which were drawn in 1891 together with those of Angola and Malawi. The border dispute between Barosland and Angola was settled in 1905 by arbitration. Zambia was not yet in existence. By 1964, those whites who protected Barosland left. So the principle of post was expected to apply to Barosland territory, but instead, the British Crown Colony of Northern Rhodesia and Barosland Protectorate were made to enter into agreement witnessed by the British government. The Barosland government, the Barosland Agreement 1964, referred to the powers of the Litunga of Barosland in the territory of Barosland. I repeat, the Barosland Agreement 1964 referred to the powers of the Litunga of Barosland in the territory of Barosland. He was a sovereign ruler and the agreement on Article 4, Clause 3 states, I quote, The Litunga of Barosland, not Western Province, acting after consultation with, with his council, shall be authorized and empowered to make laws for Barosland. In relation to itemized areas stated on page 5 of the Barosland Agreement, including Barosland Bank, this means republicanism would not be extended to Barosland territory. 
Viva Barosland. Viva. Viva Barosland. Viva. By the agreement of 1964, Zambia inherited the obligations of Her Majesty the Queen of Britain. However, the Barosland Agreement did not enter into force in 1964. Instead, it was terminated by the Zambian government. With the termination of the Barosland Agreement by Zambia, no lawyer or member of executive worth his sort can claim that Zambia still has any obligations over Barosland Kingdom in this age, 2024. Viva Viva Luwasi Mwiko! Viva Mkela Manyando! Viva! Yes. Zambians should, not, should know that the law of contract Zambians should know that under the law of contract, one cannot terminate the contract agreement and at the same time continue to enjoy the privileges and rights contained in a contract agreement you terminated. I repeat, Zambians should know that under the law of contract, one cannot terminate the contract agreement at the same time continue to enjoy the privileges and rights contained in a contract agreement you terminated. Well, yes, 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 yes. Well, well clear, well clear. Mr. Sami Hichilema also talked about Zambia being a unitary state. On this one, we advise our beloved Barosland nationals not to be fooled by Article 4, Clause 3 of the Constitution of Zambia, which states that Zambia is a unitary state. Please put it aside. It has nothing to do with Barosland. It was enacted after the termination of the Barosland Agreement in 1964 with the sole purpose of coveting. Viva Barosland! Viva! Viva Barosland! Viva! Boha Kainde should know that the Barosland Agreement in 1964 preceded any law in Zambia. I repeat, Boha Kainde should know that the Barosland Agreement in 1964 preceded any law in Zambia. We conclude by advising Mr. Hitchlema and Zambians that the existence of Barosland Kingdom as an independent territory does not depend on the permission of the Zambian government or Zambians. We don't need to seek permission from Zambia. All we need is self-realization. Barosland case or the Barosland agreement is covered by international law and not Zambian laws. We finally call upon the British government. This is very important. Very, very important. We finally call upon the British government and the Commonwealth who appended their signatures on the Barossland Agreement of 1964 to come out in the open and explain to the whole world the facts about the Barossland Agreement 1964. We are tired and sick of being mentally and physically tortured by security forces of Zambia. Currently, Barosland is flooded by the Zambian troops in a bid to silence us. Thank you. Wow. We, wow. we have the supported documents which can tell that what we are talking about is not irrelevant. This is the United Nations which entered into the agreement in 1905 concerning the boundaries and the borders of Barosland. So, Mr. H.H. H. doesn't understand necessarily what it means. Yes, because part, the formation part. of this country... He doesn't understand it. It doesn't understand it very well. If you understand, you couldn't have mentioned about it, about the unitary state you talked of. The formation of this country is based on these documents. And we all have the documents and we know all that there is boundaries which, which, which makes Barosland. A free state and the kingdom on its own and we have the rights to be a nation as we were before we urge all the balanced nations to stand and stand for the truth let us stand for it we wish to warn the new dawn government as Barosland youths will not take any kind of silly statements from the president of Zambia where indicated that the Barosland is not in existence. We want to tell him that Barosland is existing and shall never die. Further, we are not even intimidated 
by bringing these uh, choppers, jets, police officers flooding all over the streets of Mongo and Barosland. Those, they are just, uh, they are just uh, oil to us so that we can continue doing whatever we are doing. That it gives us determination that what we are doing, the government is, is facing pressure from us. So we'll continue to bring pressure. So Malozi, let's stand together to fight what belongs to us. Thank you. Viva Baros Land. Viva. Viva Baros Land. Viva. Viva Ngwasi Mwiko Tu. Viva. Thank you very much. May the Almighty God bless our King. His Majors Ngwasi Mwiko Tu and Baros Land Kingdom. Baros Land exists and it will be there until the end of the world. Long live the King of Baros Land. Long live. Long live. Long live. Long live.